Welcome once again to my little art studio in my home and to Book Talk with Tracy. Uh, this is segment three um, about my book, Aliens Among Us. Um, please go back and catch the first two segments. They're not that long, five minutes or slightly longer each. Um, I do talk about uh, the plot a little bit. It is a Wi-Fi action adventure novel, um, which, uh, you know, an unlikely teenager has to save the planet. Uh, there's a fair bit of romance in it as well, and um, a Christian th theme running throughout. Um, and I've also mentioned it's my first full-length uh, science fiction novel, and um, I'm just really proud of it because there were some challenges in writing it, which I talked about last time too. Um, I also talk about the fact that I am a science fiction nerd, so I'm not really sure why it took me so long to write a novel. But in any case, I want to talk a little bit more about the actual writing of the novel. So I had the idea, I think I had the idea for the characters first. Um, that was the first thing. And it doesn't always happen that way for me. Sometimes it's a thread, you know, uh, like the plot line um, that comes out. But often I start with the characters because I am very interested in characterization, uh, perhaps because of all my time uh, as a drama teacher and uh, talking about characterization there. So I do love characters. And so I did come up with this teenage boy character and with the alien family. Um, and I knew I wanted him to somehow, you know, fall in love with this girl, but I wasn't quite sure of the rest of the details. It was pretty vague. And so I did write uh, a few chapters. I, I started writing and, you know, kind of playing around with different ideas, but I never really settled on how um, this was going to play out. And then one year I decided, um, I was thinking about what I was going to write for NaNoWriMo, which uh, is National Novel Writing Month. For those who don't know, it's this crazy thing you sign up to do every November. I've been doing it for probably 10 years now or something. Um, at least. And you, you sign up and you commit to writing 50,000 words in 30 days from November 1st to 30th. Um, and so I thought, you know what, maybe I'll, I'll pull out those characters and some of the stuff I've written already and that's what I'm going to do. So I did. And um, I did take the time to, you know, plot things out a little bit. And I was just really pleased at the end of the month when I, I finished it and had, had uh, a little more idea where this story was going. Um, and then of course all of the edits have to happen and you get beta readers involved and stuff like that. But it was, uh, it was a fun process. One of the things that's kind of cool about this book too, is the setting. So, uh, one year, several years ago, um, my husband was doing a, a job, um, in a place called Spence's Bridge. Spence's Bridge is in, uh, the interior of BC. British Columbia in Canada. It's in uh, quite a dry sort of arid region uh, near Kamloops. Um, and, uh, and so he was going there for about a week to do a job with this other uh, person we knew um, installing a, uh, some kind of cell, no, it wasn't a cell phone tower, but something on a tower, I don't know, internet, something. Anyways, um, and I happened to be available to go with him. So I thought, oh, that'd be fun. It's kind of a little, it'll be kind of a little, a little vacay. And I would do some writing or whatnot during the day when he was working. So we went there to this little place called Spence's Bridge. And it's so super quaint. It's really small. Um, but, you know, there it is in the, in the middle of those arid, very dry mountains. Um, where there's very little rainfall and it does get very hot. Uh, unfortunately, in 20, the summer of 2021, there were some terrible wildfires in the area that burnt down whole villages. But backtrack, um, Spence's Bridge became the setting for uh, this book. Obviously, I changed some things. Um, there are no copper mines near Spence's Bridge that I know of, and it's not called Spence's Bridge. It's called Mineral Gorge. Um, so I, you know, I changed things up enough and sort of combine um, something about mining towns, which I know a little bit about because uh, I live in one right now, and uh, that arid setting. And so that was uh, that was where the setting came from. Um, 
But other than that, uh, you know, it's all fabricated. I mean, this is just me using my imagination, um, coming up with uh, a, a crazy story about a teenager who who has to help his alien girlfriend um, keep this other rogue alien from uh, taking over the planet. So um, I, I really love it. It's a great book. I'm, I'm proud of it. And I feel like I'm going to write more science fiction now that I've, I've uh, cut my teeth on this one because it was really fun. Um, and one of the things about science fiction is, you know, you don't have to be as careful about making sure uh, things make sense or that it's real <laughs> because it isn't. <laughs> so that's one of the, the joys of that. Um, in any case, that's it. That's all I have to say about Aliens Among Us. Um, please go to my website, tracykraus.com. There is no E in Tracy, but there are two S's in Kraus. I always have to say that because people do spell my name in a variety of ways. Um, and there you can check it out, read more, uh, go online, read some reviews, see what other people are saying. But I would encourage you to give it a try, even if you're not a science fiction fan or a youth. And that's it for Book Talk with Tracy today. And I look forward to seeing you again next time in a probably a totally different setting. All right, that is all for now. God bless. <laughs>